Hello, this is Trisha from Sandy and Auto, and I have an antique mall haul today. Uh, this is a new to me antique mall. I have not been in there before, and I was very pleasantly surprised. It's a very large one. I did not quite realize how large it was. Um, it's two stories and um, lots of square footage, lots of vendors big variety. So I did um, find some really fun things and all of these will start being incorporated into my live sale, which is uh, every Wednesday at 4 p.m. Eastern and every Saturday night at 10 p.m. Eastern. But if you see something you're interested in, feel free to leave me a comment or send me an email, which is in the description, and we can uh, talk about it. Um, oh yes, and if you are new to my channel, please subscribe and click the notification bell so you'll be notified when I put out new content like this and when I go live for my sales. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. All right. So they did a very nice job wrapping everything for me. Now, some of these items as Christmas in July has just kind of passed. We'll be holding some of these till we get actually to uh, Christmas sales. And the reason I say that is because of these two guys on top here. Look at these little pine cone guys. Oh my goodness. How awesome are these two? love them they've got the pipe cleaner bodies and <laughs> the little or pipe cleaner arms and the pine cone bodies and i'm not even quite sure what they have for their little shoes but <laughs> they are so cute This I just loved. Needles and pins, buttons, and then more needles. <laughs> Cute little drawers to hold all of your good sewing notions in. We've got a little hole here so you can hang that on the wall. It does not have a mark on it. Oh, but I love the rustic look of it so cute now you can see this drawer is missing a little part i don't think that takes away from it at all and i just thought that was so cute Okay, look at this beauty. Daisy and buttons in that great uh, basket. And I don't know if we're going to be able to see anything. I'll try to get in there, but there is a little bit of an amberina glow happening. I think you can see it right in there. So pretty. And just naturally, um, the color on this is just a bright, bright orange. And, uh, you know, as we get into fall and Halloween, oh my gosh, this would be such a great um, display at Halloween. You know, a lot of times that amberina comes more red, um, but that one being orange just really... Um, really called out to me in the store. And then we've got the moon and stars. Also a great fall and Christmas color being green. Or, yeah, moon and stars. I don't know why I was having a flash there. Yes, and it's that nice open basket. But, oh, isn't that beautiful? 
Okay, so those were items that ended up in this cute little bag. Now I'm going to get into a box I have here. And I think right on top in this really fun little bag, we are going to find some brooches. I'm pretty sure wrapped up in some tissue paper here. Keep them all nice and safe. And several of the vendors there had some beautiful selections of brooches. So I'm going to start with this one. If I can get this little, maybe I can get the string off there. Oh, look at that flower. That is so gorgeous. And let's take a look here. I don't see any glow happening, but doesn't take away from the fact that that is a stunning brooch. And I'll look at it a little closer to see if there's a signature in there. And then, oh, little Christmas tree with pearls and rhinestones. Oh, so pretty. There is the back. And that does seem to have a mark that I can see pretty easily. Nope, turn it this way. M Y L U. So I am not familiar with M Y L U, but I will um, do some investigating because that is a beauty. And then we've got this one, which I think would go this way. Small, but I really like that one. Now this one, oh, this one is an old, old, oh, I'm telling you, this one is so old. You can see we do need to do a little cleaning to get those um, pretty yellow ones sparkling again. But oh, look at the back on this one. And just the feel of this metal. Um, boy, this one is, it's got, it's got some age to, at least to the parts of it. I will say. And then, oh, look at this beautiful little basket. Oh, this is so gorgeous. Poinsettias. And then look at this showstopper. Oh, so much blue. So gorgeous. There, get that string off of there. Oh, so much blue. And it is, um, again, I think this one just needs a little bit of a cleaning. And I think, oh, hang on here. Nope, those are just smaller ones. Oh, there is so much going on here. It is so hard to see everything. But yeah, so we've got some bigger ones here and then some smaller ones up there. There's a lot going on. I think that one just needs a little gentle cleaning to really show it off. And then, oh, this one is so good with the enamel, black and white enamel. Oh, this is like a showstopper. I love that one. There is the back, but yeah. So yeah, I had a really fun time picking out a variety. They were scattered all over the store, but uh, real happy with the selection that I ended up with. And then I have this little, little baby. Um, it's a Tonala style cat. It does say Mexico, but I don't think it says anything else, but it's an itty bitty. And I liked him. And we've got, <coughs> excuse me, this beautiful little deer. Kind of leaping, loved the white and the spots on him. Not marked, 
as to who made him, but I really like the look. Sleeping deer are always um, so pretty. And then, oh, a fish and a black fish. Um, this is also a flower frog. So you can see it has two little holes in it. So we've got a flower frog black fish. So very stunning. Um, lots of different colors of flowers, especially white. Um, oh, would be so beautiful set in here with that. kind of big one and a really big piece of paper too um oh so this is a three section server oh look at those flowers and the detailing i love the detailing on this now this is marked I'm going to have to use my little magnifier here. Genuine Staffordshire, uh, hand-painted, shorter and, oh, oh, shorter and sun, England. There we go. But isn't that beautiful? Love that three-section server. And there's the mark on the back. But yeah, I loved the colors on that. And again, with fall coming up, oh, that would be so beautiful out for all the fall colors. And oh, this is part of a set now. I've got a couple others here. We'll see if the other part of the set is here. Nope, this is a little different. I have to say, I am not quite sure what this is, but I saw this little cutie sitting on top and I really liked him in his little PJs, cute little pixie in his PJs and this little container with the holes in the top here. I'm not sure what that is. So let me know if you know what that is, uh, but oh, isn't he adorable? Okay, so maybe this one is the part two. Although it does feel a little small. Oh, it is the part two. Oh, good. So here we have a salt and pepper set. Look at them, the little rooster and hen. Oh, aren't they fabulous? These are, um, I believe, although I can't see for sure, but if I remember correctly, these are Polish pottery. And uh, yeah, really, um, I had some Polish pottery in an estate sale uh, that I picked up. And these guys, I have to say, I am becoming a really big fan of Polish pottery with these colors. Oh, I love them. So it looks like the shaker part is right there in the front. Yep, and right there where the little holes are. They do have their stoppers, but oh, gosh, they are so cute. And then I've got a linen here. This is a nice towel. That's half the size. So a great towel. And what does it say? Ironing day. Look at that with the little iron, little teddy bear. Oh, love that one. That is so good. And another linen. Loved this one. This is a little like guest towel with the red, white, and blue. And I'll show a couple more and then I'll stop it here after I show a couple more and then I will do the rest as a part two. But look at this great pin cushion, crochet and ribbon pin cushion, that great uh, pineapple design. Loved this. So beautiful. 
And the one more I will show is a little dream pet. And it's the bull. Ah, how cute is he? Look at that. <laughs> and he is in really good condition. He's got his little tail there and that face. Oh my, he's an angry bull. He is, he's, mm, he is not happy. Look at those eyebrows. <laughs> and he's got a little tag right here that does say, oops, hard to see there. Dream and pets. Oh, but he is in such good condition. He's just got like a little bit right there, but considering he's, Oh gosh, getting close to 40 some, almost 50 years old, probably. I think he's in outstanding condition. So yeah, so I am going to stop it here with these great treasures. And I've got one more um, video to go to show the rest of this great haul. So uh, come back to see what else I found at this really fun antique mall. And uh, thank you so much for watching. And again, these items will start being incorporated into my live sales, which are Saturday night at 10 p.m. Eastern and Wednesday afternoon at 4 p.m. Eastern. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.